What is up, guys? Harry Butter here, and today I am playing one of my favorite games from my childhood. Pokemon F. Wait a minute, this isn't Pokemon F. What is it? The. Hold on. Guys? It's not just Pokemon F. Is it? What the hell is it? Seriously, what the hell is this? This isn't Pokemon no more. Uh, okay, well, 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 my, might as well watch this thing, so. Man, he has a... He has an unsteady, it isn't popping at all. <laughs> I don't recognize that one either. S seriously, what the hell is going on? Huh. What the hell is that? I'm assuming that's some kind of... assuming that's gonna be the legendary of this game. What the hell is that? Well, whatever it is, it's clearly dangerous. Hmm. Huh. This isn't Pokemon Emerald. What is it? Well, time to find out, I guess. Uranium version? Huh. Interesting. Huh, there's already... Thing on here. Uh, okay, I'm gonna cut the act. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, yes, uh, this is a uh, this is actually an RPG Maker game, but but don't worry, it's it's nothing like Five Nights at Fuck Boys. Uh, uh, like it's actually good, and it actually looks like a Pokemon game. And yeah, as you can see, I already have a save file. But see, the thing is, I recorded it earlier, but the uh. The footage was messed up, so, so now I'm recording it again. Gonna go up to the same point that I did last time. Yes, I'm sure I don't want to do no lock. Because I want to catch all oh, the Pokemon! Huh? Who is it? Oh, hello there! Welcome to the world of Pokemon. So, uh... I've already, uh, thought about the same in... Uh, there is that it takes place in the real world, and I'll explain why once you see the little intro. And I know what you want, just watch this intro, but but I mean like, there's a beginning cut thing, you know, so, some uh, exposition. My name is Bamba. Er, but if you find that hard to pronounce, you can just call me the Pokemon Professor. You're the kid who's applying for a job, right? Great. Put a load down on what you'll be doing, Spencer. This is just gonna go through like the basic stuff. I'll have you journey across the regions, like in specimens for my research. Along the way, your search will encounter all kinds of things. Some will be willing to cooperate, and some not, but you should try and be friendly with others. I don't want a bad reputation, right? People will ask for your help solving mysteries. Send them a hand when they're down. It won't be easy, there's dangers everywhere. There are wild creatures or people with ill intent, you'll need to be on your guard. Keep a clear head on your shoulders, kid. Sure you'll pull through just fine. Keep a load on what you'll be doing. Uh, control. It's the main character. Who's the shoulder? Okay, so... Okay, okay, I got it. No info needed. Oh, th that's like... That's like if you combined a Pidgey with a Fennekin. <laughs> the human stare this world is creatures known as Pokemon. More than mere animals, Pokemon possess astonishing powers and remarkable evolution. People in Pokemon coexist in many ways. Some Pokemon are kept as pets, others help us with work, and still others are used in battle by training such as yourself. There's so much you still don't know about Pokemon. 
that's my job. I studied Pokemon for a living. Specifically, I'm an expert on Pokemon elements. Every Pokemon has an elemental type. Each type has its own strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, for those of you that have never played Pokemon before, uh, each professor, like, specializes in something. Like, I remember Professor Alan was specialized in baby Pokemon, the first specialized in the, po in the Pokemon in their natural habitats, and, uh, the new and upcoming uh, Professor for Sun and Moon is going to be all about moves and attacks and stuff. But why do they exist? Are there new types we haven't discovered yet? Well, I mean, there's that white type we're all waiting for! <laughs> Maybe because of the uh, name, but I predict that there will be a nuclear type in this uh, game. Or radioactive type. But, uh, but I'll tell you more if you're a first day on, on the job. Of course, my last tomorrow's case is Pokemon. I feel just still at this point here. <laughs> Damn it, paperwork! So, I think I'm going to be, uh, this girl, because she's the closest I can get to Ginger. Plus, uh, I like, I like that little, uh, uh fanny pack. <laughs> now, as you saw earlier, I did nerdy, because I couldn't fit nerd letter. And, uh, just, in my opinion, just, just adding... Why to the end of any name just makes it sound feminine to me. Pretty, are you ready? Your journey, your story is about to unfold. Teacher is a blank slate. You, together with your Pokemon, are going to fill it. Be challenges and thrills. You're bound to make exciting discoveries. Let's go! Ten years ago, Nerdy's family lived in the BLB City, largest city in Dandor. Their father, Colin, was a brave and talented Pokemon Ranger. Oh, yes! I love the Pokemon Rangers games as a little kid. I love them. My favorite is uh, Shadows of Valmia. Like, one where they introduced all the Sinnoh Pokemon into it. It was my favorite. Loved it. Mainly because, <laughs> like, the, your little uh, friend in uh, the game Keith, he, he reminded me a lot of me. He was even Ginger! <laughs> mother, Lucille, is a brilliant scientist and an expert on nuclear energy. Why did they capitalize nuclear energy there? I, I don't think it required capitalization. Well, they both work demanding jobs. They always found time to spend at home with the unnerdy. Uh, un I'm talking too fast, <laughs> as usual. The Andor region was at peace, and Lucille's company was working on a form of clean energy that would change the world. The future seemed bright, until... Dun, dun, dun! It was an ordinary day at the nuclear power plant for Lucille work. As part of a routine inspection, they brought in a specialist to take a look at the electrical system. Cameron, have you finished? Oh, wait, no. What am I doing my regular work? Cameron, have you finished your diagnostics? Yes, I have. Everything, uh, tough. Everything seems to be working perfectly. I'm talking too fast again. I keep on talking too fast. And I keep stumbling over my words. This generator you designed really does. Well, Lucille. Excellent. I found somebody a sinister work. It breaks for lunch. Uh, boss, you might want to take a look at this. Strange. Temperature readings are far higher than normal. Or we need to reset the thermometer, or... The reactor is leaking a massive amount of heat. Can't be the thermometer. I just checked that. So... Oh god. There must be a freezing reactor. This temperature in just a few minutes is probably total we'll meltdown. Everybody needs to evacuate now. Sea light. You have to leave too. Seriously, why did you do that? I think you uh, that is the generator. And what she did was this is suicide. Seriously, there's no. She knew there was no way she could fix it. You can't fix a nuclear power plant that's having a meltdown. You just can't. Unless you're like Superman or something. With Cameron's help, all of the scientists were able to escape unscathed. That's Lucille. Well, I mean, Cameron really didn't do anything. They all ran out on their own unless the, unless the facility wasn't just that one room. 
She was never seen again after that day. Radiation leaking from the broken reactor made the surrounding area uninhabitable for many years, spoiling any attempt to try and search for her. Bob, uh, Doc, not Bob, <laughs> the loss of his wife had a profound effect on Kellen. His personality changed. He became cold and dedicated to his job. At the time, he got promoted to chief of the Tandor Pokemon Rangers. However, he became too busy to care for his child. The young nerdy was sent to live with their elderly aunt, uh, auntie in Moki Town. Ten years passed. Auntie's health waned, supporting the child was too much work for her. Fortunately, Ernest Bambo, the local pro uh, Pokemon professor, looking for a research assistant. Two kids from Okitown applied, Nerdy and their childhood friend, Theo. It's common for use of a certain age to receive Pokemon to travel the region as a Pokemon trainer. So, Nerdy's journey began. Nerdy! Oh, oh, wait. Okay, I'm going to try and do my best grandma voice, which is a shit grandma voice. <laughs> Dirty, come downstairs, you are late. And I'm pretty much going to do that book for all the old people. I did it in the previous recording too. Dirty, do it up to PC, what do you want to do? Item storage. Draw item? Yes, I got a person. Wait, oh. Do I have any mail? I doubt it, but yeah, no mail. Nintendo Wii U, but I hear they're coming out with a new system too. That looks more like a Wii to me. I bet I don't need a nap right now. Cram full of books about Pokemon. Me and my Oten. Revolta's big adventure. Quest for the legend. Read all these many times. Well, I am an avid reader, so... There's a news report going on TV. Apparently, we are involved in a new nuclear power plant in Tandor. Okay, time to... Well, isn't that foreshadowing? It's the map of West Tandor. Oh, so, so, so right now I'm in the west of Tandor, or, or is it going all of Tandor? The cabinet is filled with antique sign up plates. Out of the window, I can see Professor Bambo's lab. I wonder why he has an apostrophe in his name. Yeah, I wonder too. There's a framed embroidery. Home is where the heart is. There's a heart underneath it. Wide screen TV. I like to watch it while eating dinner. A cup of dough is on the table. Cold. Dirty, sweetie. Today's your big day, isn't it? And help but feel slum. See, my little one, all grown up and leaving home. Oh, it's only these old clones could do more so that I could support us both. We both know that you're ready for this. You and that boy, Theo. Always following in your foot. Always been so capable. But I wonder about him. He's younger, after all. First of all, for Cameron wouldn't allow him to go unless he was sure. Yeah, uh... And yes, he is talking about Cameron from, uh, the lab. Anyway, to celebrate a big day, I got your present. Oh, is it Heroes Bars? That reference. <laughs> Go ahead and open it. Pretty up in the running shoes. Yes! Running shoes! Right from the start. Oh, God, anyone who's played a Pokemon game. Well, I mean, except for X and Y. And, uh, Alpha Sapphire. Or, and, uh... Uh, Omega Ruby will know that it is very frustrating to not start off with being able to run. <laughs> oh, oh, don't mind me, sweetie. I'm just an emotional old lady. If only your father were here right now. Well, I'm sure he's proud of you, too. Most of you'll run into him during your adventure. Oh, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Say hi to that nice professor man to me, will you? If you don't mind stopping by again after you get your first book on, I'd love to see it. Good luck, sweetie. Oh, that's opening the menu. <laughs> the fridge. Hope she won't mind if I help with myself to snack. Eh, I'm sure. Or she won't mind. Stove and sink. It's clean because we usually order out. <laughs> well, no wonder she can't support you. Don't order out. You're wasting money. Cook. Scandalous. The dandy's doctor. Oh, reference. To Undertale. Of course. Grand full of Pokemon. Pokemon Life. Pokemon Evolution. Philosophy of Pokemon. This book shelf contains Fancy's guilty pleasure reading. The Arcanine Bridge, the fiery romance. Ooh, very frisky. This is a very frisky uh, auntie. Auntie, I'm sleeping in your bed. I'm just inspecting everything. In your when you play RPGs, you gotta inspect everything. Every little thing. <laughs> Smoky town. 
don't know if I already mentioned this, but this is actually made in RPG Maker, which I'm really surprised at. Oh, nerdy, you're leaving home, right? Here, have this, it'll help you on your journey. You don't need to do yourself. Stranger candy. Hmm, a stranger giving me candy. <laughs> And then here's this weird minimum thing. That seems long been in the fire of the body. Don't just good work as Sandor's chief, uh, range to chief. He predicts large people, Pokemon in the environment. Okay, so that's it, I guess. I'm gonna sneak onto your computer and watch your old band porn. Oh, I can't, I can't sneak onto his computer and watch his old man porn. Hey, what is that sign? Uh, I just noticed that sign there. Oh, I can't read it? Weird. Pokey Town is so nice and peaceful, and everyone knows one another. I'd much rather live here than in a big city. I think I'd like a Burby. Fine type, but fun against bugs. Yeah, I guess he doesn't like bugs. Hey, my favorite Pokemon is Q Bug. So cute. I'm just gonna assume the weird minimum is a Q Bug. Those are Bambos alive in that house on the cliff. Wonder why I lived in Mokey Town of all places. Technology is incredible. I can now trade Pokemon with my friends across the world with the power of the internet. <laughs> Yay! Oh, what does this say? Pokey Town Town is just a fine thing. Listen, have you heard of the new video game? It's called Pokemon Red Version. Yeah, yeah, that kid saying that is why I theorized this takes place in the real world. He's playing Pokemon Red. I, I don't know if that actually has any significance. Uh, or, or if it's uh, just game being meta. I thought my son the new video game all the children are playing these days, but now he wants to be down for even a second. I'm gonna raid your fridge. And, uh, go onto your computer. If not. <laughs> yeah, I can't go there, because it's full grab Pokemon and stuff. So jealous! You get to have your own Pokemon! My mom says I gotta wait till I'm older. That's me, you get. Thank you. Hey, it's, uh, Cameron. Hello, nerdy. Today's the day you and Theo received your first Pokemon, isn't it? Theo certainly was excited. I imagine you must be, too. Uh, I remember that day, all those years ago. Yes, I was a one trainer just like you. I'm retired now, of course, but I still remember what it was like. But I'll still this day, indeed. Looking for Theo, I'm afraid he's not here. He's already gone ahead to the Pokemon lab in the north of town. He's not very patient, so you should probably hurry along and join him. Is there any interesting plan on the TV? Nope. I'm gonna look on Theo's computer. There's a story typed up on the computer. The most awesome Pokemon trainer in the world. Yeah, this this will give you an idea of what Theo's like. By Theo Kane, age 11. Poorly written, read it. Best, most awesome Pokemon trainer was the champion of Kanto, Dodo, and Tandor. Never lost one single time. Uh, or lost it. So I'm gonna read the incorrect grammar anyway, because he's only 11, so... Pokemon were strong and powerful. They were so tough that they got a new evolution called Super Mega Evolved. Everyone thought he was cool, including best and dirty. That trainer's name was the, uh... <laughs> yeah, he's that kind of person. Our team is showing on TV. There are Pokemon wearing clothing and talking like humans. Hey, time to go. And there's Theo, we. Looks like Theo only has a Wii, not a Wii U. No wonder he always wants to come over to play yours. <laughs> map of West Andor. Okay, it's the same map. <laughs> Funny. Oh, can't go there, because I don't have rock lamp. Ooh, I'm going to be the now, eh, hey, nerdy? Well, I do visit your auntie now and again. Go, go, go. Oh, damn, crispy grandpa. <laughs> Ambo, 
Okay. Let's look at this one the Pokemon's hand or our native species. But there are some which can be found in other regions too, like Mankey and Sunspark. Hey, wait up! And here comes Theo. You can see the resemblance, can't you? There he is! But we're not. I forgot, I did a redneck voice for him. <laughs> Where do you think you're going, huh? Are you trying to get lay up before me so you can get to be a Pokemon? That ain't gonna happen. Cause I'm gonna get stronger than first. Try to keep up, nerdy. Oh, that was sort of redneck. And I always thought it funny how, like, it looks like it's quite a past slab. But that actually is in the... I always found that funny. Hey, if it isn't nerdy and, uh, your friend, tell me was it? Honestly, oh, wait up. I keep forgetting about it. Honestly. Uh, wait, why can't I do the redneck one? Honest, Bob. Can't you even remember my name? Theo. Theo! Right, right, Theo. He's just in time. Today is a very simple day for both First day at work at field research institute at Bambo was one research house. And why are you asking Theo? The clearly incompetent and, uh, and only age 11. So why are you hiring me? I mean, me I can understand, because it uh, looks like uh, the since Theo is apparently younger than me, and you will see later, that compared to me, uh, I'm probably like 15, 14. Uh, oh, actually, I'm going to get observing and capturing many different heads from my building with my research on Pokemon Elements. Three Pokemon here that will aid you on your journey. Before you get your start, so you can close with it one finger out of the uh, I didn't study French, uh, wait, uh, oh. yes, I didn't study French, yes, I thought you were going to give us a rare, powerful Pokemon. Now, yeah, now, don't worry, it's not kind of such you have to study for This way can determine what kind of Pokemon trainer you'll be. Different starter Pokemon are better suited for different battling styles. The third Pokemon will be your lifelong partner. So it's important for you to work well together. Yeah, yeah, I get it. No, donkey, I don't want to get my Pokemon. Please, kid, you're not very patient, are you? Alright. If you want to know more about what's on this episode, again, you can talk to my age. Now, are you ready to take the trainer out to shoot us? Yes. Excellent. So without further ado, you can encounter a new kind of Pokemon in the mall for your first reaction. Attack it right away! Right for the mall! <laughs> Very good, that's good. Come on, that would be easy. Give me a talk. Okay, next question then. Please see him with your first two teacher Pokemon. Hyper Beam! Hey, Professor. To see him yeah, anyway. Um, I'll tell you later. Let's move on to the next one, shall we? Pokemon Pokemon would win in an all-out battle. Uh, Gyarados has type advantage against, against, uh, Ampharos. Oh, well, actually, Ampharos has type advantage. Shit, <laughs> shit! Oh, God, I was confused. Yeah, hold on. Here's the Apollo. Stay healthy, stay healthy. No, it isn't. Uh, this is your final question. Answer it honestly. What's your motivation for becoming a smoker? Be the best. Be the very best. Like, no one ever was. But, like, like I picked all these answers last time. <laughs> I wanna be the very best. No one ever was. I got some. My real pet. The kingdom is my car. Uh, no question about it. I'm gonna be a Pokemon man. And nobody's gonna stand in my way. Uh, I think you're scared, kid. That's what you train up to do, Seth. I'm going to analyze the results. Okay, I finished my analysis. So, analysis. I always pronounce it wrong. Uh, analysis. I always pronounce it analysis wrong the first time. Nerdy. Seems to be a trainer who won't hesitate to go for what you want. First overwhelming your opponent's sheer force and firepower. Saying the best defense is good offense is probably your mantra. You have a burning spirit within you that never sees it. For an offensive trainer like you, Oh, it sounded funny. That actually does sound like me when I play Pokemon. <laughs> After which, it's the best pick. Oh, I didn't take it, Nerdy. Nerdy, I've changed the craft sword! You look given the thing. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> I remember last time. Uh, I noticed how it 
reminded me a lot of Charmander. So, since Charmander is the combination of the words Card and Salamander, I decided to stick names this guy, Sarkor, because it's a combination of basically fire and a raptor. <laughs> like, like as in the dinosaur. Charcoal. Eh, <laughs> I'm tired of waiting. I've already got their starter already. When do I get mine? I'm done analyzing your results, Theo. Hmm. Is this is Theo's being playing or something. Theo. Well, you certainly know what you want out of life. You're impulsive and say something care mostly about your own desires. I sense something else in you. See the seed of greatness? Potential to transform yourself completely? Maybe it's just that you're so young, I can't tell. Careless for a trainer like you. First thing is the best day. Yeah. First Pokemon. Nerdy. You have a Pokemon. Now why I have a Pokemon too? You know what this means, right? We have to battle. Oh, see, it's not as bad. Yes, in the lab! Have you never played Pokemon Day? I mean, it's clearly in this universe. Clearly, it's exists in this universe. Careful, Theo, with my spell. Careful, Theo, with my spell. Hey, dude, just gonna let you know. I have to type advantage here. So I'm probably gonna pick your ass. I mean, I already know Ember, so. I remember last time I won Sonic Day. Except once again, one shot! <laughs> Freaking one shot! Starcore game, so one shot, man, one shot. Nerdy defeated rival Theo. What? But, but I was supposed to win. But he got 350 bucks for winning. But, 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 hell, I'm supposed to be the best trainer ever. It's impossible. Good trainers never lose. Dude, just because you have red hair doesn't mean you're red. Oh, red doesn't even have red hair, does he? Pretty sure he doesn't. I always thought he had black hair or brown hair. Well, well actually, according to Spyred, he has brown hair. Hi? Hi? Where? Please don't cry, Theo. Here, I'll heal your Pokemon for you. Pokemon will heal. Wait, why were my Pokemon healed too? He said he would only heal Theo's Pokemon, but he also healed my. I want you, Theo! An unbeatable trainer! Tell him I can't win! Well, between your starter and nerdies, there is a type advantage. Water beats fire, fire beats grass, and grass beats water. Still a mental type triangle. One of them at any rate. Range master type matchups is an important part of being a trainer. But no way! I don't want to do over! How come nerdy gets the fair to start it? Man, it isn't fair! I'm going home. He's like that harder than I hope. He shouldn't be so quick to judge him. He is just a kid after all. Pixel soon discovered that training Pokemon isn't as easy as he imagined. For not to send just to Route 01 by that sound. Bring Theo and I'll teach you both how to catch Pokemon. See you later, nerdy. But I will do that in the next episode because I am out of time. So yeah, see you guys next time. Bye!